Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, fitness and health, health membership site for people over 50. I almost couldn't get that out there. And you are at Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet. I'm going to show you one exercise tip and one nutritional tip. And if you do these on a consistent, regular basis, you will be healthier and strong. Today, we're going to work on the lower traps. Now, what is that? Where is that? And what is it? So the trapezius is one really big muscle goes from our neck down to our shoulders, back into our back and down below our shoulder blades and close to the spine. Now, we do a lot with the upper trap like this. No bueno, that is no bueno. We're not going to work on that today, but I do have other videos that point that out and how to deal with that. So today we're going to work on the lower part, below the shoulder blades, close to the spine. And then we're also going to work in this exercise on the erector spinae, which are these long muscles going down the back. And why do we want to work on all that? Well, because our shoulder needs our shoulder girdle needs stabilization you know this doesn't really have a joint right it just kind of sits there muscles are holding it in there and tendons and things but it's really pretty loosey-goosey which gives us the ability to move it all in kinds of directions but it also gets injured pretty quickly too so we want to keep it nice and strong and stabilized and that's what we're going to do today all right so hey I'm going to use a band. You don't need to use a band. You can also use some very small weights, like maybe one or two pounds, right? No more than that. And I'm going to get down on my hands and knees. Now, why am I going to do that? So I can stabilize my core and my spine a little better. So I have me a little band here. These come in various colors, and the color determines the resistance of the band. I'm going to use this one, working still on a shoulder injury. Yeah, see, so you got to watch it. All right, so here we go. We're going to get on our hands and knees like so. I'm going to just put the band like through my uh, palms and my kind of wrap around my thumb a little bit. I'm going to sit on it with one. I've got the other one. Now I'm going to turn this arm so that my thumb is up towards the ceiling. All right, my abs are engaged. My back is flat. Shoulder blades down the back. And then I'm just going to whoa, lift that little puppy up. Okay, exhale as I lift. Now I'm not moving my body all around. Holding my abs in, trying to keep my body parallel with the floor. All right, I'm just going to lift that arm up. as just as high as I can. Not too much trouble here. All right, oh, good. That feels so good. That not only stabilizes the shoulder girdle, but it also increases the range of motion of that shoulder. And we really want that, right? So we can... Lean back and grab Joe when he's not doing right. No, no. <laughs> Anyways, our nutritional tip today is about plant-based diets for maturing adults. Now, there are some really good benefits to that. And there are some really important considerations to keep in mind. Benefits. You can grow your telomeres. What are the telomeres? Where they're an enzyme at the end of the DNA strand, and they tend to get shortened as we get mature. And the shorter they are, the more we age and the less longevity we have. So we want our telomeres to be nice and long, right? And healthy. So a plant-based diet helps engage and elongate and increase those telomeres. Good idea. It also helps the immune system, makes us nice and strong with the immune system, fighting off all those uh, pollutions and diseases and all these other things, right? So it's, wrong, it's strong for that immune system. And what else does it do? Well, it makes us really uh, keep, keeps our weight down. I knew I could take it, <laughs> get that out there. Keeps our weight and managed in a nice place. It gives us a lot of energy, helps us with our sleep. I mean, there's just a lot of things that plants do. Now, what it doesn't do in considerations that you might want to have is that it doesn't have B12. So vitamin B12 comes from an animal source. So that's something you would have to supplement. You want to be aware of that. You also want calcium because we tend to get osteoporosis as we mature. So we, that's the bone thinning. We don't want that to happen. We want to stave it off as much as possible. 
So we really want to make sure that we're getting a lot of calcium in those vegetables. And there are vegetables that do that, like spinach, kale, um, blah, 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 a couple others, and I don't remember them off right hand. <laughs> Anyways, you can look those up. <laughs> and then the other thing that we want to look at, and really important, is protein. Now, you can gather protein eating a plant-based diet. That is true, but you have to be very cognizant of it. You have to really make sure that you're getting what you need because protein as an older adult is, one, hard to absorb and hard to get. All right, so we don't get enough of it and we don't absorb it well. So that's real important. Protein is real important for basic bodily functions to function well and to uh, age well and successfully. Protein, very important part. So getting enough protein in that is important. Okay, so those are the considerations, but all the good points too. So, well, you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong so that you can live a life with full activities, the ones that you love to do in a body that does them well. So I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim. This is Short and Sweet, and I look to see you next week. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.